a report there this morning in the newspapers of another one of these desperate cases of sexual harassment in the workplace. In this particular case, a worker, a young woman, 19 years of age, was working, or 18 or 19 years of age, in a job in a Domino's pizza restaurant, was sexually harassed mercilessly and has been awarded 19,000 euros for the harassment. She endured repeated sexual harassment from her colleagues in her first job out of school at a Domino's pizza shop. She was propositioned for sex, she was told to do an OnlyFans page, and she was handed a name badge with a picture of breasts on it. So sexualizing, you know, the young woman in her first job out of school, it must have been an appalling experience for her. And obviously the likes of this sexual harassment, unfortunately, from time to time is something that women have to experience, uh, do experience, and it is desperate. In this particular case, there's something particularly feral about the description that the young woman gave in evidence because she said, quote, they would actually howl at women as they pass by on the street. She said of the pizza cooks at the store in a Dublin suburb, she said she felt completely sexualized, like every move that I made was sexualized and who could blame her? She wouldn't talk to her mother about it because it was too gross, she felt. She'd leave for work. The mother thought she was safe there she didn't want her mother knowing what was happening, but she cried to her friends, the girl told the Workplace Relations Commission earlier this year. And her name is Jasmine Olaru. So she's the brave young woman who brought this case and has been rewarded with an award of 19,000 euros. But I think more importantly, the reward for her is being able to stand up to this nonsense and get herself some uh, justice. She was 18, she was still at secondary school when she started work at the shop counter in February 2022, she told WRC, and this was her first ever job. So imagine you having a younger sister or a daughter, for example, going to their first job straight out of school and this sort of nonsense happened. The owner of the pizza shop, Remo Foods Limited, has been ordered to pay 16,000 to Miss Olaru for sexual harassment and victimization in breach of the Employment Equality Act 1998. And she's also won 3,000 euros for a breach of the Organization of Working Time Act. And Remo Foods, the employer, is a franchisee which runs 23 Domino's Pizzas branches in the Republic and has been ordered by the WRC to review the effectiveness of its anti-sexual harassment policies and training in the wake of the findings. And that is a reasonable enough uh, order, as it were, given the carry-on in this particular workplace. Miss Olerud, the employee, said that on various occasions the deputy manager, Mr E, threatened to spank her with a shovel uh, the shovel used to scoop out pizza from the oven told her that she should do only fans and uh, asked her can i watch when she went to change into her uniform imagine having mr e uh, her deputy manager as your employer or your supervisor or your line manager what would you do miss olaru said that in july 2022 she said she and another worker arrived without the name tags and were put name tags and were pulled up for it by the deputy manager, Mr. E. The complainant said then that Mr. B went into the back office with an assistant manager, Mr. C, and another male employee, Mr. G, before re-emerging with a pair of name tags for them. They handed me mine, it had a pair of breasts on it, she said. Mr. E, the deputy manager, insisted that it was funny, Miss Olaru said. She said she went to a back room and cried for an hour or two. So imagine putting yourself into that situation in the workplace. She gave her notice in September 2022. She found herself uh, clocked out from her shifts early on two occasions by her managers. And she argued that this amounted to blatant victimization as well for reporting the harassment to the store manager. The adjudicator, Elizabeth Spellman, said Miss Olero's evidence had been credible and uncontested with considerable detail, including dates, names and locations, along with corroborating evidence, the offending name tag, which the complainant had kept and brought with her to the hearing. 
Imagine having that evidence at a WRC hearing, a name tag with your name on it, you're a young woman, and a pair of breasts, and this was given to you by a deputy manager or a manager in the store. That is pretty good evidence now, in fairness. The adjudicator, Ms. Spellman, added that the respondent did not produce a single witness to rebut the complainant's allegations. So that is a damning indictment of the employer. At least they didn't parade in a load of witnesses to lie or counter or try to counter the evidence or deny what happened. At least they accept it it appears, the evidence of Miss Olerud, the complainant. She found that Miss Olerud was discriminated against on the grounds of gender and sexually harassed in violation of the Employment Equality Act. She awarded her €13,000 in compensation, the maximum sum possible according to this, uh, as the worker had already left the job when she complained. She awarded a further 3,000 for victimization. The total was 19,000. I think that reference to 13,000 there in the Irish Times is a typo because earlier on it says that she was awarded 16,000 and 3,000 for the organization of working time breach. In any case, the brave young woman was awarded 19,000 euros and more luck to her. But for any young woman out of school, first job to go through that sort of nonsense, is appalling in 2022 or 2023 or 2024. What can I say? If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up down below. Thank you very much.